So this is a photograph in the Globe and Mail. I think it was from the early 1960s. There's no date on this particular copy. My mother now has the photograph itself hanging up. And it's a photograph from the Second Battle of Ypres. The caption reads, German troops captured by Canadians at Ypres are marched to the rear. As the battlegrounds changed hands, many on both sides were led off to prisoner of war camps. What's fantastic for our family is that the man in front without the helmet is my grandfather. Even though he's not named in the photograph, it's definitely him. First of April 1915. Left at 8 a.m. for Vlamenteng, five miles from the city of Ypres. Many wounded being brought down from the line. Reached our new billets at noon. 22nd of April. Sick headache. Heavy artillery fire towards evening. There are two diaries. One is from when my grandfather goes to Valcarce to train in the end of 1914. It starts beginning of 1915 until the end of 1916. Um, if I just open up a page to show you. He's written pretty much every day of those two years. And then the second diary is for 1917 uh, from January until when he comes home. The photos and postcards are in the, in the photo album. There's one of the Prince of Wales and one of the Duke of Kent visiting. There's actually an entry in the diary that mentions the king coming to visit them. Okay, there is several letters. I actually haven't counted them, but I imagine there's about eight. There's one, two, three. This is a letter that my grandfather wrote somewhere in France, May the 12th, 1915. The first ordeal starts with a quote. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. The psalmist, could he have seen into the coming centuries, would have rejoiced in the thought of comfort to be derived from his supplication by young Canadian soldiers as they marched away from their billets to take part in their first big battle. The picture down here is of my grandfather with their, um, their mascot, which was a goat. So it says, us and Bob, our mascot. Undiscovered treasures. More postcards, 17... 21, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30. It's, it seems to be part of my whole being. I've known about these photographs and letters since I was a young child. They are, um, they're my history and they're, they're already, I can look at them, but I can always see them in my head too. They're just, they're just a part of me. And I feel that it's, it's almost my duty now to not forget, not let him be forgotten, not let all of this history be forgotten, to write it down for my daughter, for her family, for the rest of my family, to preserve it, to keep it for the future.